Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. And now, I think it's time that we went to see what that, that Bowser whatever thing is over this way. So let's check out this thing. What's the hello, Toad? Mario, the princess was taken that way. Hurry and find her. Oh, she's been taken. Probably should do something about that. Island, the villain's secret hideout must be there. Let's go and save Peach. <laughs> Pinna Park, Mecca Bowser appears. It's probably not good that I didn't realize that Princess Peach was taken. Should have been a little bit obvious from the Toadsworth and everyone at the statue, but nope. I just didn't notice at all. Welcome to Pinna Park! Okay. Also, this beach has fiery dudes on it, so I'm gonna be careful about that. Okay. Let's follow Shadow Mario. Amazing, what a spectacle! Is this a new show of ours? You guys are great! Whoever hired you needs a raise! I love how you play the fearless hero and he's like... ...a bad version of you, but you both look the same and stuff. Well, as director of this park, I want to ensure your success. So how about I provide you with a hero's vehicle? Follow me. And so we're now on the roller coaster with rockets attached to our flood. I love how ridiculous this is, just this giant mecha bowser in the middle of a theme park, or amusement park, whatever you want to call it. Bullet Bullet approaches from behind, we need to actually spray that before it gets to us. As we go along the roller coaster, more rockets will appear on it for us to grab. Which is good. I just need to be very careful of that Bullet Bill. Unfortunately I lost my rocket from doing that. Oh, is that another one? You can hear when they're getting near. Oh no, I got hit. That's fine, let's grab this rocket and shoot Mecha Bowser. Also, whenever we get near to Mecha Bowser, we also need to spray his fire with water so he doesn't um, burn us. So that's something else we need to do. Oh, careful, 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 good. Okay, also I think I might be wrong, but there might also be a limit to how many times you can go around the roller coaster. I don't think there is, but there's, you're probably going to beat it too quickly for anything like a time limit to even be a problem. Just need to hit him a few more times, and then we'll be good. Rockets are... Bullet Bills are catching up again. Let me see if I can hit Mecha Bowser from here. Probably not. Okay, let me try again. Nope. It's a little bit difficult to aim because of the angles changing all the time, but... Have to do our best. Oh, there's two bullet bills there. Shoot you. Oh, that was nearly close. Oh, that was nearly very close. Oh, there's more coming this way. 
there's definitely a lot of bullet bills. But anyway, I think we might be almost done. Yes, indeed. A direct hit. I love the cutscenes in this game. They just seem so ridiculous sometimes. And I love how Bowser Jr. is like trying to say what Bowser said. But it just sounds like he's mocking Bowser. <laughs> it's so, so great. Why don't we have voice acted cutscenes in future Mario games? Anyway, Pinna Park is now uh, an available level for us to go through. So let's have a look again. <laughs> the Beach Cannon's Secret. And actually, the interesting thing about this is that this the beach is now different because the five the five dudes aren't here anymore. But anyway, also some of these bullet bills being shot at us are a different color and also home in on us. Uh, if they don't get destroyed by other bullet bills, and some of them are also gold. If you spray those, they give you a, a lot of coins. So but anyway, we want to get these different colored. Uh, bullet bills to chase after us if I can because they help break open these little baskets around the place I guess which have blue coins in them so we're gonna want to do that for a little while except that some things are gonna be in the way so we need to be careful about how we get them in here there we go there's quite a few blue coins to get from this. And also this is a good opportunity to get lots of just regular coins as well, so. Um, anything gonna home in on me, please? I guess not. Also, you can just spray these four coins anyway. Don't have to be the gold ones. Okay, come over here, please. Did it stop chasing me? No, I crashed into a tree. That's what happened. Thanks for the coins. 
Okay, here comes a purple, a few purple ones. What is this? Oh, come on, over this way. Turn, turn, turn. Why did you crash into each other? Oh, here comes another one that's going to crash into that. Oh my goodness. They really don't seem to like turning much, which is unfortunate. Okay, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Oh, pain, pain, ah. Okay, this one's going to follow me now. Turn, 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 please. Thank you, blue coin. Is that all of them? No, there's definitely more. There's one over here. Oh my goodness, crazy stuff. So I think along this beach somewhere are some more blue coins to get. And also just regular coins as well. Um, but I want to get this over here. This is the last basket, I think, to get. So let's save. And let's actually go do the beach kind of secret now. So, by getting close enough that it stops shooting bullet bills at us, it actually gives us, throws bombs at us. If we spray the bombs, they turn blue, stopping them from exploding. And we can throw them back at it. So, that's what we need to do. If I can actually hit it, that'd be great. Am I actually doing damage? I think I need to do damage to the mole on top. There we go. Actually doing some damage now. If the blue bombs stay on... Uh, stay up on the ground, not in use long enough, they will just explode still eventually. And you can't stop them after that point, so... But anyway, if we're hitting him three times, and actually hitting him, this cannon opens up, and let's hop in. Because it's a secret. Once again, we don't have Flood. So let's see how this goes. Disappearing and reappearing platforms. Gonna be fun. We can see when they're about to disappear by the, them fading out. Oh, careful. So careful. Okay, let's go across here. Oh my gosh, I nearly died. These platforms here are also trampolines. So let's bounce our way up here, if I can. And now we need to get across this. So we want to dive and jump a lot. Okay. We want to do the same thing over here, but we also have to change directions halfway through. Which could be interesting. And then also have to make that jump there at the end. Anyway, let's grab this. Okay, I think it's time, so let's head back in real quick. And see what we can do. We're not gonna go to the next shrine in this level. Instead, I think we're gonna go to the the same previous shrine, shrine the Beach Can Secret. So, skipping over the cutscene. Let's get a little bit closer, and actually let's spray the beach a little bit for some coins. I wanna collect a lot of coins. That's what I want to do. And you should probably know why, based on whenever I collect coins in a game that I played very recently. Mass spraying is really good for getting coins. But we want to collect a hundred coins, total, in one go. This is a very good way to do it because these bullet bills keep respawning. And this beach also seems to give a lot of free coins. Especially if you shoot this bullet bill, it's really good. Already a quarter of the way there. Let me get a little bit further back because that way it can spawn more. Mass spraying is very good. Very nice. Need to make sure I'm staying a bit back so it can have room to spawn more bullet bills. Very nice. Oh my goodness, it's Christmas. Oh hello. Oh hello. Oh hello. Also need to get some more water, which is 
luckily Freli's still in the, next to the water. Just at the beach, you know. Already got 50 coins, and for getting 50 coins we actually get a 1-up. We don't have to get to the end of... We don't have to get a, a shine to actually get the 1-ups, we just get the 1-ups. Which I think is a very good improvement from Mario 64. Anyway, let's head back over this way. So it can give me some more bullet bills. Very nice. Let's grab all of these. So there's just a lot of fruit that will just be around the place sometimes. With no use at the moment. So, we'll learn about that eventually. Okay. Doing very well, I'm gonna get some water. Just gonna wait for more bullet bills as well. Okay, we're almost at our goal of 100 coins, we just need 11 more. Five more. Should be able to get it in this next run. Very, very nice. And for getting 100 coins in a level, a shine appears. So once again, the 100 coins are back, and we need to get 100 coins in each level for a shine. Uh, I don't think it matters if you're in a secret area or a different area completely. As long as you get 100 coins in that level, you can get a, sh a 100 coins shine. So yeah. It does unfortunately take us out of the level though. Which Mario 64 was right to begin with. Oh wow. Just noticed something else crashed on my computer. But that's fine. Let's head back into the beach cannon secret because we're still not done with the beach cannon secret. And now, next to our coin score, is a shine icon to tell us that we got the 100 coin shine. Beach Cannon Secret, here we go again. Because... of reasons I'm going to explain once I actually get into the secret. Oh, please go Mario. Also, I believe you can actually just glitch past him if you do it right. But I don't know if I can do it right, because I don't actually know how to glitch it. Because you can get in, in the tiny amount of time that he's not doing anything. Oh, I almost got in, I think. Come on. Come on, get out. I'm not nearby or anything. Come on, nope. Oh, so close. It's a very tight thing to do, but it's possible to do it, and it makes things go by a lot faster. If you can manage to do it, like that! There we go! Pog. Anyway, whenever you go back into a secret shrine after you've already clicked the shrine there, we get to keep Flood, for one thing, and also, a red coin switch appears. Collect the eight red coins before the timer runs out, good luck! We now need to get the eight red coins in secret shines after getting the first shine in each one. This is like, gonna be a continuous thing as well, so... Okay, the timer is really going fast. The timer is really fading away now. I think that's all of the ones down here. I really hope so. If I miss any, then that's really bad. It's a good thing they give you Flood for these, because some of them... Some of the coins are in places you can't actually reach sometimes without him. So anyway... Let's go across here. We can actually just slide it very quickly across here now. And we're getting all eight, eight red coins. Another... What's it called? Shine appears. Also, I just wanted to mention that this uh, Pinna Park level world, the secret shines are based off of Yoshi's Island, which I think is cool. The art style for the background, the Yoshi egg blocks, 
it's just very cool. So now that that's done, I think I'm going to leave Pinna Park for a little bit and actually do some different things. Different things, you know, different things. <laughs> that's a great sound there, Toadsworth. I can't imagine what the poor princess is going through. Mario, please save her. I can't imagine what she's going through either. But she doesn't know what I'm going through and that's laughing at the sound that you make whenever you talk. I believe I can actually go up by wall jumping here, right? Somewhat. Not a lot, but slowly if I time my wall jumps correctly. Or just not, because I fell, fell down. Okay. I want to quickly go up here if I can, please. Thank you. There is a blue bird around here. Um, there's also this little thing here that we can spin with... Uh, uh, what's it called? Flood. And there's also that shine in that room over there. So if we angle ourselves just right at this angle... And talk to this guy here. Howdy, throw me a coin and I'll throw you for a loop. Okay. Yeah, and away you go! And he throws us through that little broken down beep beep. I don't know what it's called. It's little, the, the, these things on the windows. Because it was slightly angled. And we get a shine. So. Delfino Plaza is also technically a level where you can get shines from. And actually, how we've almost lit up most of Delfino Square already, which is crazy. Just need a little bit more shines. Might even be like one or two more. I don't even know. Anyway, there's a a M mark here, so let's get that coin and probably save as well. It's probably a good plan. Now, if I can, I want to go across this river thing. And let's go into this building here, because this building is quite interesting. Also, these boxes are shaped like the M emblem that Shadow Mario leaves behind. Or Bowser Jr., as we know now. Break all the crates within 30 seconds to win a prize. You want to try? Okay. So, yes, that's exactly what we have to do. And I don't know for sure, but you m it might kill you if you don't do it in time. Oh, dear. You can break multiple boxes at a time if you're in between them. But I'm doing a very bad job of that right now. Oh, I'm going to run out of time for sure. I'm definitely going to run out of time. Oh, I'm so out of time already. Oh, or maybe not. I did it with a little time left. That was great. You're the best. And he gives us a shine. It's a fairly easy shine to get, but also somewhat difficult at the same time. Let's grab that. Very nice. But that's not all. But wait, there's more. If we go over here, I believe there's also another box over here that we can break. And if we do, there's another emblem. Get it because it's it, it's an it's an M, balloon. Okay, never mind. So, if we head back over here to the crate breaking house and go back in, he's got them stacked differently. Break all the crates within thirty seconds to win yourself a prize. Yes, I will. I love how that's the response. But anyway, we need to break these boxes now. They're stacked up, which makes them a little bit harder to get all at once. Especially because you can't get multiple at a time. So you just need to get them quickly. Oh please. Oh please, 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 please. Okay. That timer seems to go a long time after you've already finished it. Which is concerning, but for breaking them again, we get another shine. <laughs> wow. 
But wait, there's more. So, let's head back to the box breaking room house thing. If I can. And if we go in, he's got them stacked differently again. Break all the crates within 30 seconds to win yourself a prize. No. Yes. So, let's just head on up here and start breaking boxes. This is actually fairly easy. Oh my goodness, this one's easier than the other two. Look how much time I have. So much time. That was great. You're the best. Unfortunately, though, he does not give us another shine. Even though it's stacked differently. I'm actually surprised that he didn't give me another shine, actually. I thought he did. Especially because the boxes were stacked differently. But anyway, apparently that's all he has for us. If I go back in, he doesn't... Yeah, it's still that one. So I guess you can just get the same shine you've already collected, but you don't need to, so why would you? But anyway, other than that, I kind of want to get a shine to make myself feel better about not getting a shine from that. I think there's also something that happens if I spray this guy who's on fire and just running around. So let me see how... I think you need to be spraying him for a certain duration to actually get him... put him out. Please, please, please. There we go. Oh, you saved me. Thanks, a bundle. And he gives us a blue coin. Thank you, sir. So, now... Let's just go over here. And spray the ground. Around here somewhere. Oh, is it like right here? Yes, it is. If we spray this ground here... It has a little shine on the ground. Which makes a shine appear once we've sprayed it all. Also, just quickly, I'm pretty sure that that thing in the sky there is what's used in the opening cutscene whenever you pull the title screen. But I guess it's just there. It's just because. Probably just to save space, I guess. So I can put more in the game. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab the shine. And there we go. So now, I think I'm going to get... Oh, what do I want to actually get now? There's still a few things I can do. So let's keep exploring around Dofino Plaza for a little bit. And let's go into the underground, because the underground has a few blue coins we can get. So, I believe... Is this one over here? No, that's just coins. But, not there. All the way over here is a blue coin. Um, also, I don't know where I'm going. Some of these aren't actually connected to everywhere. This one actually takes us all the way up here, which is interesting. Which makes it a lot easier to get up here, I guess. Now, let me see if I can get that blue bird there. Nope. Also that emblem over there. Blue bird. Blue bird. There it goes again. Going around in circles, I guess. There we go. Let's grab that blue coin. And now, let's go get the emblem. Oh, please. Emblem. Just spray that. Gonna actually save now, I guess. Can I think of any more blue coins I can possibly get at the moment? There should be more. And I think if I go over this way, there's a tunnel here that you can't access from any other point. Well, probably can, but it's by going through this tunnel. And it takes... This tunnel actually takes us all the way to this island over here. We're not gonna do that, though. So let's head back... Over here. We can also just swim to the island, so... Tunnel's kind of redundant if that's all it's for. But I believe if we look through these tunnels a little bit... We'll find a blue coin here. And where does this 
lead to. You can kind of see some of the areas that are like slightly darker. Slightly, but otherwise you probably don't know which way to go. Okay, that looks like everything, so I guess there isn't any actual area that it leads to by going through that. But anyway, let's just hop out, I guess. And I guess while I'm here, let me talk to this lady with her basket. Hello! You want to work for me a little bit? I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. I'm craving some coconuts. Bring me three, would you? Just bring the fruit here and put it in the basket, okay? Make sure you talk to her before giving her her request, because otherwise you're just going to be doing it for no reason. But anyway, there's these coconuts in, these tr in this tree that we can uh, knock down by spraying. And if we pick up three and drop them into a basket... Come on. There's also a few other of these ladies around town who are also going to have to help out. But if we do it... If we do it... Three times, she sparkles and becomes very happy. And then talk to her. Thanks, sweetums! And she gives us a blue coin. So that's another way of getting blue coins around Delfina Plaza, so. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Super Mario Sunshine, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. There's also a one-up over there in that cave you can swim down for. Anyway.